guys, I am Dr. Kim Sage. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a licensed clinical psychologist, and if you were just joining me, I am so glad you're here. This has been a very slowly, wonderfully growing community that I am so happy to be a part of, and I would really encourage you to share your thoughts and stories if you feel safe, and to also know that on TikTok, I have a, a pretty significant community there that's growing, and just in TikTok, just on TikTok in general, there are some great resources from me and many, many other very talented and very smart people talking about complex trauma and relationships and healing. And so if you're not on TikTok, I know it can have its challenges, but there's some great stuff there. So please consider there as another resource for you. I do post there at least once a day, every day pretty much. Occasionally I skip on a Saturday and some days I post three or four times and it's always about these topics. Okay. So let's get on with it. Today's video is really the last part of a series I was doing, and I'm gonna keep going with that series, but we're gonna kind of go from understanding attachment wounds to understanding how attachment wounds and complex trauma shows up in our dating and relationships and marriages and all of those in our parenting and our lives. So we're just gonna kind of keep on rolling. And this protocol today is called the Ideal Parent Figure Protocol. It is basically a guided meditation example from a therapeutic protocol that has been researched and done really well, developed by Dan Brown and David Elliott. And basically, you can also Google, I think there's a, a video here on YouTube that Dan Brown does another version of this. But here's what it is. It's basically a, an imagery exercise where you work on imagining the ideal parents, the parents that would have been ideally suited for you. Now, a couple things. This was meant to be used in a therapeutic way, but it basically is an imagery exercise you would do with a therapist in the sessions, and it would continue on through each session. But I have been using it on my own through this version I made, and here's what I want to tell you. It's pretty powerful, but you want to do it, I would say this, give it at least five times before you decide it can't help you, okay? It's basically an exercise that focuses on relaxing your mind and body, and then imagining these ideal parents, parents who are perfectly suited for you. So depending upon your attachment style, they might do certain things more than others, right? They're gonna be reliable. They're gonna be consistent. They're gonna protect you. They're gonna delight in you and find joy in you. They're gonna be always there for you. And they're also gonna encourage you to go out and explore the world. So before you do this exercise, I would say this, make sure you're in a quiet space Make sure you are not in a car or driving because you're gonna be closing your eyes. You're going to want to understand that when you're doing this exercise, it's gonna feel a little bit weird at first for some of you. The first time I did it, I was kind of able to go there and then a few times later I was like, oh, this is like my mind's drifting off and then I would go back, but it has been very powerful in many ways. Now you're gonna be dreaming up these parents in your imagination. And what's so great about your imagination is that you can create anyone you want. What I found helpful <laughs> was um, using actors and musicians as people for my ideal parents because I couldn't just come up with my own like faceless person. But you could have a book character, a movie character, you know, a, a person you know. It could be anyone and they might change and you can let them change as they go along. But basically what the idea of this research is that over time we learn to create and heal these attachment disturbances by, by really idealizing and imagining the parents we really longed for because that is where the source of wound is. Between that gap between the parents we wanted and deserved and longed for and the parents that we had. And so over time, it's like this integration is happening. And so I, I think it's pretty amazing. But like I said, it might feel you know weird or cheesy or uncomfortable at first, but I would really encourage you to give it several times before you decide it can't help you at all. It really is a powerful exercise, I believe. And like I said, you know, it was developed in therapy, so keep that in mind. This is not meant to replace therapy, but to give you an example of the kinds of things we're doing to help people heal, things we can really work on on our own. Side note, I love guided meditation, and I love it on the app Insight Timer. That's my favorite one. This one actually could even be on there. I'm not even sure if it is. But I basically recorded my voice walking through a version that was adapted from this book, which is the textbook on attachment disturbances in adults. And 
it really is about a 20 minute meditation, okay? So keep in mind that what I think helps is to create, you know, the image of the parents, or at least know that once you get into the meditation, you're allowed to create it from anyone and anything. And for, it'll just come to you. Like these actors and musicians came to me, like what kind of parents would have been great for me? And I'm not gonna share what they are. Maybe I will at some point. My kids were laughing when I told them what they were. But it kind of makes sense, right? It's this combination of like what I would see as the ideal parents. So I'm gonna start the meditation for you now. Feel free to, in the future, just fast forward to this part. You can also, I might just do it separately too, I'm not sure yet, but I will be also adding this in my courses just as a download on an on a MP3 file. But basically you want to use it, um, like I said, just in a quiet meditative space. You might feel sad, you might have emotions come up. That's okay, right? All of that is okay. Whatever happens is okay. And it would be a great thing to do with a therapist as well, or at least, you know, share with them. Okay, so let's get started. I hope you find it helpful. Remember, I am not a perfect recording artist, and so I did the best I could, but I just really wanted to share with you how these, you know, these, these new interventions can truly be life-changing. So please stay safe and well, enjoy this meditation, and I will see you soon as we continue on this series on healing attachment disturbances and understanding how complex trauma and our attachment patterns show up in dating and relationships and parenting and in all aspects of our lives and more you know ways you can work on healing your story so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon